some part of it that was very um, um, effortless. Um, I just, I got it. And they were so generous. All those actors are so wonderful. I mean, you just have to show up and 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 listen, and, <laughs> and you can't go wrong. So yeah, and everybody's so supportive of each other. Yeah, it was a great set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't see... You you don't see much of um, what they call that uh, a backstabbing or anything. You're all you're all no. a unit. You're all Gina's a unity. We're, we're not thing. allowed. They were spat out if they, if they even attempted to to, <laughs> to come in. If that's a word. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, uh, it was it was very much an ensemble cast. Very supportive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have from Rachel on Twitter, she goes by Platinum Soap, and you've pretty much answered about what it was like working with Jerry Verdorn, but she wants to know how she how you felt about the ending of your of your, their story. Of the story with Blake and Ross? Yeah. Right. How how that ended? Oh, yeah. well, I not so good. <laughs> that was that's so that still hasn't even had closure, as far as I'm concerned. Although it was right. fa- fantastic to end up working with um, Frank, because that made sense to me. That was that was great to to be paired up with Frank at the end. You know, that that was full circle. But because Jerry left, um, it was it was pretty sudden, and they weren't. It was unexpected. Um, and the writers weren't prepared for it. It 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 left the entire our storyline undone completely, and then I was sort of spinning out into the stratosphere for quite a while. Um, they just didn't know what to do with me, and it was very difficult um, having been associated with him for so long. And it, right. there was never closure. We never had that final scene. Aww. Oh my gosh, we were never on screen together. That final time where. There even was a goodbye. Um, yeah, and that's right. That part, that's sad. It, yeah, that that part. I, I would give, I would give a couple of teeth to right. <laughs> to go back and have somebody create a special of some sort <laughs> where Blake mm-hmm. and Ross had right. an opportunity <laughs> to be in the same scene together. Um, I know that they tried to make that happen when when. Um, I, I was at a grave site for him, and they were they they worked really hard. But he was having a heart. He had already it was difficult for him because he was on one left to live, and mm-hmm. um, and it, they ended up they wrote a scene actually, and and he was trying, but but it just the powers that be weren't allowing him to 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 be out. So I think Ed ended up being the person that I, I was supposed to have a fantasy with. Ross and they ended up just making Ed <laughs> lurking and listening to me and then talking to me. But uh yeah, that's sad. I was very sad. Very, very sad. Well she said that you were one of Soap's true loving couples, that you were fantastic together. No. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um we uh, adored working with each other and I think that that showed so um yeah, she was she's right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was good. That one, that that was a good one. Um, and then I have another question from another Twitter person, and I didn't put their name down. I'm gonna have to look. Uh, what were your fondest memories of One Life to Live? And with it back, if Prospect Park called you to return as Connie O'Neill, would you say yes? Oh, I'm Connie. What a great. That was that was fun. Um, Oh my gosh! Sure, of course, yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, those that was great, Bobby Woods. Oh God, what a hoot! I know. What a hoot, what a hoot Bobby Woods. Um, I think it was very funny. I loved all the scenes with the sisters, all the three sisters. The, the, mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was that was nice. I remember. I think maybe my best memory was. I, I believe I was a factory worker, and I remember. Delilah, right? She yeah. was she was posing in the factory at that time. She for some reason she was working there. I'm really working there. She's pretending she's an imposter. But we're on a we're on a um 
um, a, a line. You know, it was I Love Lucy um, uh, uh, factory. What were we doing? We I forget what we were supposed to be making. Some sort of mechanical something for an engine. And but there was a. Um, what is it called? The rolling. The uh, what? Help me out here. What, what is it <laughs> when it rolls in front of you and you're on a factory line and you and you yeah. have to just oh, pull um. the the dot dot dot. Somebody knows. Tweet it right now. Assembly um, line. I, the I assembly don't know. line. That, that Assemb- makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and, and and it was one of those things that was moving and we had to be working and and it, it became like I Love Lucy where we we had to get the scene in and com- be be completing this task in front of us on an assembly line with with putting something on something i you know, putting together something and then letting it roll by and then the next thing comes and whatever it was but it, it got ahead of us and and it became like an i love lucy skit where with the with the, with the chocolates where she's stuffing them into her box yes. <laughs> because we couldn't keep up and, and of course it turned comedic because Usually everything I I touch turns comedic at some point in its <laughs> life. Um, so I do remember that. That was fun. And Brad Vernon. Brad Vernon, he was Oh, my gosh. Fun. You're not going to believe this, but my oldest son is named after him because I always loved that name from watching oh, One Life really? to Live. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. and it's yeah, not yeah. Bradley or Brad, whatever they come up with. It's just Brad, and it was from Brad, Brad Vernon. Yeah. Brad Vernon. <laughs> he was my... The love interest there. Yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. The Vernon Inn. Mm. Yes. Gosh, my gosh, that brings back so many memories. Unbelievable. That was yeah. wonderful. And yeah. I'm so very happy they're coming back. And, and oh, I am hopefully too. Hopefully they give you a ringy-dingy, you know, maybe we can well, reach out to them and remind them. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm sure when they get settled, they've, they've, they've got to get themselves up and running and established mm-hmm. and, you know, they're picking up with the what was there, so... So uh, I'm I'm happy to ring their doorbell when they they start to add on. That's, right, that would be great. That'd be great. Definitely. Sure. Yeah. Now, as far as being on a web series, of course you were on Venice, and yeah. you played Amber. You were the ghost mm-hmm. of a sister of of Hillary's sister. Yeah. And oh somebody my gosh, else what a hook. body. <laughs> yeah, I was a hooker. Amber the hooker who right who who <laughs> I, I was still trying to get this com, this com, straight people were like who are you I was like I'm trying to figure this out yeah. um I was inhabiting the hooker's body but I was I was the but really the spirit and soul of of the sister of of Hillary's sister mhm mhm and and but using that body until they ended up having to well I don't know what we're going to do here because I am I am I'm continuing but I'm not continuing on this uh season I will be in next season the story okay. uh, Crystal moved the storyline she has the storyline she moved it to the next season because there really wasn't room for it in this season with you know she was using it for a uh, jumping off you know, a, a sound a board for jumping off into into <laughs> the grove, of which oh, I will be a part of. Another phenomenal one! Yes, I, can't wait. I I will be a part of that. Then the the second season. Yay! Um, yeah, oh no, I'm not going away. Um, uh, uh, so it just, it's just sort of a ch- change of plans this particular p- particular season. But that's all right. I've been heavily engrossed. I was actually very very busy here. I've been. I have a whole other business, a whole other life that I've been um, um, uh, embarking upon, and 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 so I've been going in in, in very intense tra- training. So um, because I'm starting a whole life coaching business as well as acting coaching, okay, and um, I'm loving it so much. Um, so. I have I have many different aspects to my life right now. Um so so this year has been very very busy for me. Are you I'm going to it. be doing life coaching for adults or teens or yeah. all of the above? Well, all anybody? of the above. All anybody in transition. Um yeah. you know it all it all started out with working with actors and I've been working with actors who are in college or, or I I helped a lot of kids 
like do that transition into college and and do all yeah. their auditions. And then adults, adults who are just like they're just kind of starting out with acting, or or stage actors who want to transfer and, and learn how to how to uh, the technique for for film. And then I found myself um, utilizing all those tools of, of of how I direct and how I coach. And there, it's it's about questioning yourself and your beliefs and your thoughts and being mm-hmm. very specific about um, about who you are and what you want and and and. I, Really started applying it to themselves personally, and um, found that I had a lot of people who wanted to come and talk to me just about that. And um, one thing led to another, and um, I've ex- just expanded the whole thing because I enjoy working one on one with people. And I will do this no matter what, even if I'm full time acting on another series. I will never give this up because this is just. Um, I, it's just filling something up inside of me that um feels good mm-hmm. <laughs> and i'm all mm-hmm. about that and i'm and i'm all about helping other people find that for themselves and it's really what it's about for me uh, yeah it always so, feels yeah. good to give back and this yeah. is kind of what you're doing yeah i and i i am just getting fired up by it and i haven't been fired up by something like this since you know those Hardcore days with Blake and Ross, <laughs> where, where, where you know we were really in the trenches and 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 um, going to town. So uh, I'm I'm really excited because because the guiding light going off the air was just like threw everybody into square one, you know, just right right back yeah. to just like whoa now what do we do and whole new identity and and uh, redefining yourself and and. Um, a new connection to everybody and to your life, and so I've I've learned a lot, and uh, and I'm taking it and using it and trying to help other people. So yeah, yeah. It's well, I give you kudos for that. That's yeah, great yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to do. You know, no, I I, I do. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I've got. Um, I haven't got my new website up for that yet, but um, I do have. Um, I'm. It, it's about to be. Um, yeah, it's um, under construction. Sorry. I noticed under that construction. when I went there. <laughs> right, right, right. But but I do have a, a, a email for Liz Kiefer Coaching at gmail dot com. I, I that I, people can get in touch with me if they want information about that. Oh, that's and, wonderful. And yeah, yeah, I really do love it. But you know, what's interesting is that there's another role that's come up for me that I will be a part of, playing a coach mentor type of really groovy kind of person in a, a web series called um, the, the Cape. And this is with um, Orla Cassidy and Beth Chamberlain oh. and uh, 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 Danny Cosgrove. And uh, uh, Michael O'Leary is one of the producers on this. And Meg Kelly is uh, uh, a creator and uh, writer for this. And, uh, uh it's pretty neat it's a pretty it's going to be a pretty cool um web series that's going to be shot here in on the east coast um and we're going to be doing a kickstarter uh campaign for it um this spring and so to it'll be funded through various, <laughs> various I put those means. type I put those type of projects on my website so let me know when it oh, goes cool. up I so will. I can put I it will. on yeah. there. Great. Yeah, this is going to be a cool project and 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 I'm playing an offshoot of what I'm doing in real life which I think is 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 neat. So, so. Well, you were made for the role. <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah it's, made, it's it's good things are coming. Made, good things are coming. Made for web role. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, just a couple of comments before we uh, take some calls, because I know you're limited on your time. But Joyce from Twitter says, well, she was talking about um, you working on Venice and that also you're amazing as an actress. And Rachel, again, from uh, Platinum Soap, is from Australia. And she says, tell her she's loved in Australia and I've got several friends into Venice, and they think she's great. And, 
yeah, mainly that's <laughs> everybody loves you. It's basically oh, it. That's nice. <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> they want to see your next role. So that's well, great knowing. 